I've got to figure out how to join your thing. Quiet. Hi, my name is Terry Sproul, and I want to welcome you to my studio. Tonight is our live Tuesday night show, and I want to thank you all for coming. Um, if you are watching this at a later date, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, please. I'm trying to up that for um, Google purposes. Okay, we are going, we're starting a brand new year, so I'm excited about that. We are going to be doing both journals and um, canvases this, during this year, but I am going to start with a um, journal tonight, but I am going to do a canvas next week. I already have it planned, so. Okay, I am going to switch cameras real quick. I, I do have Joe here with me, so he's going to be do his best to put up the links for the stuff we use tonight. And um, if you have any questions, please put them in caps, and I'll do my best to uh, get them for you. Okay. Believe it or not, I'm starting the year with a brand new journal. Isn't that kind of cool? <laughs> I thought that was kind of neat. So um, tonight we're only going to do that that single page, you know, that's up front because that's all, you know, the journal starts. And then normally after that will be double page spread. So we only got a single page tonight. So the class actually should go pretty quickly. You see all this beautiful color I have over here? toss that that way just to look at all those pretty colors. I'm going to be playing with the silks tonight from um, Color Art. See if I can get that. There it goes. Silks Acrylic Glaze. These are awesome. These have the really a fun shimmer to them and as you see they come in a lot of colors and I don't even have all the colors out. I just have part of them out. I have a whole nother box down here of more colors. See? See? More colors. So, it, they, I, you know, I wish I knew the number. I should have looked this up. But I think it's something like 128 different colors. I'm going to start off with, I did just sell my page prior to you guys getting here. Um, mainly because I wanted to have a sealed page for one of the techniques that I plan on doing later. So that's the reason that I just sold tonight. Color Art is also having a design team call, so if you are interested in being on a design team, um, but the call is almost up. It's actually up this weekend. So I'm starting off with Autumn. What is this called? Autumn Leaf. And this is a really, really pretty color. And I really like to start um, with my page wet because it allows my colors to just blend a little better for me. Isn't this a pretty color? Now, all of these colors have a really cool shimmer to them because they all have mica in them. And I really want it darker on my edges. And I think I'm going to work my way in and grab a baby wipe. So I'm grabbing a baby wipe because I want to get that center a little lighter. So I'm going to bring the color from the outside into the center to get that in that center a lot lighter. I'm going to take some more color off here just to get it more of the color I was looking for. When you are taking color off of the baby wipe, make sure you move it to a clean spot or you're just putting the paint back on. So Make sure you do that. And I love how dark I got it around the edges, so I really like the way that looks. Okay, the, um, the technique I'm going to use tonight um, is inspired by Lamore Weber. She's a designer in the industry. A lot of you know her through Fiber-Castell. And she did this class while we were at CHA that has me inspired tonight so I'm kind of doing something similar to what she did at that class but I'm using different products but I did want to give her some credit because she did inspire me to uh, to do this pro um, project okay I also have a crackle stamp from Sin City Stamps and I want to put a few crackles in the background um, a lot of times when I'm using a background stamp that is similar to this one, as you see it's a real crackly and it's not very clean, <laughs> I um, will not ink up the whole stamp. So as you see, I'm just kind of inking the center of that there. I don't have it on a block. 
and I'm just going to go in with my fingers and just touch. So I'm not going to get a whole pattern on here anyway. I'm not going to get, and see I didn't even stamp it or ink up in between. And this is going to prevent for me from having any um, parch edges or anything like that. So that's why I like to stamp like this. And I will continue to stamp until I'm literally out of ink on this stamp. But it shouldn't be too much longer because it's really starting to get light. And look at that. Doesn't that look awesome? And it's, you know, a little bit of everywhere. So I got a nice, cool, crackly looking background in the back. And that's again the Sin City stamps and it's their crackle background. And I use stays on, and we all know why I use stays on, because I use acrylic paint. And when you use acrylic paint, there's only certain inks that will um, go on top. And so you do need a permanent ink. And also, besides a permanent ink, you need um, one that's not going to reactivate. So I dye ink, if I put something wet over this, will reactivate, and I don't want that. So um, Indian ink would work, stays on works, archival ink works. So those are the ones that you'd want to use. Okay, now I want to pick out some beautiful colors over here. Hmm. Need a yellow in there. Hmm. It's hard to pick because they're all so pretty. I think I'm going to start with that. those. And I do keep them upside down like this because I can see them better. The, the tops are black. <laughs> you can't see the color. So. so I have a tendency of keeping mine upside down. And what I'm going to do, I do tap them when I do turn them back over, though. What I'm going to do is make some circles. See, I haven't even used that one. So I have a small paintbrush, and I like to use the um, ones that have an uh, angle to them when I'm doing something like a circle, because it just makes it a little easier for me. Wow, that's a really light color. Okay, this, might, this one might not work for what I'm doing. Now you could draw a circle and color it in, but I'm not going to. Okay, that one's a little light, so I don't think I'm going to use that one. I'm going to go with the little darker colors. Okay. Ooh, look at this one. Jasmine. And so, <coughs> Vanessa just wrote me on Facebook. She can't see the comments, but I know I'm commenting in the Google Hangouts, the chat window, right on, or the comments window, Terry. And mm -hmm. I know I've seen you there, Katie's there, Daniela's there. So there are folks who are able to see the comments in the Google Plus comment area right under the window. I'm not sure how else to help anybody, though. It might be that um, she's got two windows open or doesn't have two windows open. So, you, you might, Vanessa, you might want to open a second window um, so that you would go all the way to the top um, right-hand corner. And there's like three little dots or three little lines, I think. I'm going by memory, and you can um, make the uh, window a little smaller. Hopefully, hopefully that helps. So I put three random circles across my page there, and I'm switching colors. So I off to the side here. I've got a wet baby wipe, and I'm just cleaning off some of the extra paint. And I do got to dry in between. So hold on here. Okay, um, this one's called Wisteria, uh, another beautiful color, look at that color. See how it's got the mica in it and it's the shimmer? I seem to be picking up all purples here, I need to uh, stop that. <laughs> it's my favorite color. It's my favorite color too, I think that's why I keep picking up purples. <laughs> 
And, and purple uh, always goes great with gold. It the does. Color of kings. Mm -hmm. I agree. Purple's one of my favorite colors. Well, it isn't. It is my favorite color. And I'm going to go um, put these paints to the side here so that I can come back in and make that a little darker here in a little while. So i got to remember that I used that one. I'm going to put that one right here. Okay. I'm going to go in and not pick purple. I'm going to pick this, this amazing yellow here. Mango Mumba. Mango Mumba. That's a cool name. How could you not pick a, something called Mango Mumba? Okay. Let me dry again. Now, like acrylic paints, you do have to be careful when you're drying that you don't get it too hot or it starts to bubble. Now, that bubbling, though, just for an FYI, can make a really cool texture. So if you take your acrylic paints and you heat them too much, you get a really cool um, bubbling effect that gives you a really cool texture. Well, how about that yellow? Now, as you see, I am overlapping the other um, ones that are in there. Look how cool that looks already. I'm happy with that already. Okay, one more. One more right here. Oh, got some purple in there, but that's okay. Even though purple and yellow do make brown, so be careful. Okay. Keep this one over here. Let me dry again. Danielle says she sees them. Okay, look at this teal. This is pretty. Teal. Okay. I think that one has to be used. Oh, look at that color. I hope these are showing up even as pretty as they are in person on the internet because these are just beautiful. So again, you could just um, you could trace these in, but I'm just making circles. I kind of like this. I think I might stop. I'm gonna go over some of these with a second color because or second coat because they're just not deep enough for me. Um, hmm. Oh, I like that. Okay. Okay, let me rinse out my brush and do a little bit of drying here. Okay, I want to go back in with the same colors and just put a second coat on some of them to make them just a little darker. Because with this paint, these, these colors are very translucent, but if you go in with a second coat, they get more opaque. So you can get um, whichever look you're looking to get in the long run. So if you do need opaque, you can get opaque. Even though they're very translucent, which is fun because of the um, the shimmer in them with the translucent. Hi Barbara Rankin! Um, they're just really fun. The colors are really awesome. Okay, I think that was Jasmine that I used earlier. Let's see if we can get that jasmine just a little darker. 
Oh yeah. I'm going to have to go back over that teal, but that's okay. That's the best part. It's all play. I know these colors are yummy, aren't they? That's why I said it's hard to pick a color because they're all so pretty. You want to play with them all. <laughs> This is the same company that makes the Twinkling H2Os that most of us know. Um, so if you love Twinkling H2Os, these are the same color, or the same company. This is just their paint. I think I'm going to come in with this color. This is called Raspberry Wine. Look at that color. Isn't that just magnificent? And I'm going to go over this one, because that was that pink that didn't really show up in the beginning. And I think I just need to make another circle right here. So yeah, Twinkling H2Os, I used to I used to play with those all the time. I need to get them back out and play with them more often. Oh, so pretty. Okay, let's dry again. Because I think, oh, except for that teal, I'm pretty happy. I want to go over the teal one more time. in there with the teal. I know you guys are getting see it's so sparkly that you get a lot of glare. See that? These colors are so pretty. Okay, I want to go over that teal one more time and then I'm going to start with the uh, black pen. You're going to see something that's going to just really blow your mind here in a minute. It's really pretty. But I want to get these perfect. So again, putting in the second teal, or the second coat of that teal, see how much richer they are, and it's not quite as translucent. Even though you can still see some of the background through it, but it's still a lot more um, <clears throat> thick than it was. So yeah, if you love bling, these are your paints. These are definitely your paints if you love bling. Because these are just full of bling. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, I need to dry, but I'm going to be using my favorite Castell black um, pit pen. And these this pens are... Um, Indian ink and Indian ink is um, permanent. Okay. <clears throat> This is a technique that I told you earlier that I had to um, do my uh, background and I had to make sure it was sealed because this technique you have to have um, a sealed background to be able to do this. Now technically the paint would have sealed it too but just to, to CYA myself um, and that means cover your butt, um, I gessoed too. So it, I probably double sealed it but that's okay. CYA. <clears throat> Okay, now what you do is you take your um, pit pen and you go right along the edge and really quickly go over it with your finger and that smears it out. See that? 
So I'm going to be going over these circles that I made. Some of them I'm going to actually do the whole circle. Some of them I'm going to do only part of it because it's going to be in the background. You see what I'm saying? So this is this one sits on top. So I can do the whole thing here. You see how smearing it out? It's not so harsh. See that? See now this one is sitting Oh, got a little bit of a blur there. This one's kind of sitting in the background. So that one, I'm probably only going to go over part of it, like that right there. Smear that out. And just a tad right there. Again, this one is only a partial showing. So I'm only going to do part of, part of it. Boom. Smear that one out. See how that's looking? Isn't that cool? I'm getting a lot of glare. Sorry about that. So I'm just going to continue doing that. Yes, Barbara, these are color art paints. And they're called Silk um, Acrylic Glaze. Hmm. I don't know if that yellow's on top or... We're going to make the yellow on top up there. Yeah. Okay, I'm feeling, feeling a little wet right there, so let me dry that up a little. Now, I want you to see this. If I can get my heating thing to come to me. Okay. See that? The bottom one right there, watch this. When I heat it, you can see it bubble. See it? So if you like that look, see how much texture that gave me? Even if you look at it from the side, it gave me texture. So if you are looking to get texture, that's a really easy way of doing it. Let's see if we can get this to unblur. Unblur. Wow, that's really blurry. Hmm. Oh, well, maybe it's just because it's, it's so shiny. Yeah, I think it's because it's still shiny. Okay, let me continue. Um, this one is sitting down. Now, you have to do this... Um, part that I'm doing right here with the smearing before you let it um, dry because if you don't it won't smear out that purple one's still wet dry 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 hot 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 okay I'll go down here and do this one so make sure that you do this while your paint is your um, pen is still active. Okay. Also tonight, what I want to do is challenge you guys to do a word for the year. Something that you need, and it can be personal. You don't have to tell the rest of us about it. But um, something that you need to tell yourself, challenge yourself, whatever it is. So come up with a word for yourself for this year. My word is brave, because I need to learn to be brave. And I know some people are going, Terry, you're on the internet every week. How could you need to be brave? But really, I do. Look how beautiful that is. 
Didn't that turn out cool? So look how different that um, putting the ink around the edges made that. And at this point, we could go back in if we wanted to and make some of these uh, inks a little, you know, do a little more painting if we wanted to. That's not the color I used earlier. Hold on. That was. Especially this teals. You know, so you could come back in at this point and put a little more color in there if you want it. That teal needs it too. Seems like all the teals need to be refreshed. And I'm going to do a little on that yellows too. Because they kind of lost their, their color a little bit. They're not as brilliant. Okay. Me likey. Okay, so I picked out the letters, and I am using my letters from Sin City Stamps. These are a really nice size alphabet letter. It's a real simple word. Um, it's really beautiful. My word for the year is, I like your word, Danielle. That's a great word, because that's, that's a good one. So anyways, um, these are my letters from Sin City Stamps, and um, I can actually give you a coupon code 18 BART B A R T 18 BART B A R T um, gives you 30% off your order over at Sin City Stamps. So if you want to order these stamps, you can. Um, now, as far as stamping, I could use um, the Fiber Castell pen again, but I'm actually going to use um, Stays on Ink. I'm going to use the Midnight. Oh, actually, before I do that, I real quickly want to go around the edge of this. Um, this is uh, Ken Oliver's new ink pad. I'm only using it because it's on my desk. And I kind of really do like the color of it. So I'm going to go right around my edges just a little bit just to make it a little darker. Sorry, I didn't mean to be off camera there. Just to make it a little darker. Make it look more aged, like the book's been around for a while. It's not a brand new book. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to uh, do the word brave, and I'm actually probably am I going to go across the board? Yeah, I think I'm going to go across. So, anyways, I could use this. You can actually use this pen, ink it up, and stamp. But I'm going to use stays on. So um, I actually didn't need to have a second pen out. I'm going to put this towards me too just because I'm so bad at stamping upside down. I can do almost everything else upside down, but I can't stamp very well upside down. Okay, B... Now, I normally don't stress on trying to get my um, stamps straight. Matter of fact, I purposely don't make them straight. <laughs> and that would be a really good suggestion for anybody. Um, because it's just, I don't know, you just don't get it done, and then you get that one letter off, and it's all stressful, and I just, I quit doing that stress stuff. So, if you don't do it purposely... You have no worries. <laughs> so, my best advice. Just don't do it. Yeah, making sure I got that right. It's like, how's that supposed to go? That's right. Okay, me likey. Okay, where'd my lid go? There it is. 
Okay, look how awesome that looks. Isn't that awesome? Okay, I'm going to go in with just a white pen and do just a little bit of highlights around that letters because I do got a lot of darkness going on here. So um, a white pen will help lighten that up a little bit. Um, this is Deco Color Fine Line that works pretty good and it's like a, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's, all, it's a uh, paint pen. Um, this also would work. I showed you guys this last week, a fine line applicator. This you can actually put um, acrylic paint in it. Oh, sorry, I should know better. Don't shake on camera. So actually, let's use that. I'm shaking up because I got some acrylic paint in there. This one has a, you screw off the top. See, happy fingers. And it has this needle that comes out of the top. See, that's the needle that comes out. And then you have a really fine tip here. See that? I always try to start mine off camera just because, or off page, just to get it flowing. And as you'll see, it flows really easily. So I'm just going to grow, do a little bit of paint here around the edges. So this fine line writer, or fine line applicator here, you could put anything you want into it including glue which is one of the things that I plan on putting into another one that I have because um, have you ever tried to glue on some of these little small embellishments that we have some of them are really hard to glue on so having this little applicator would be like perfect for adhesive okay I like that and what's cool about this is you put the, the needle back into the top of the uh, applicator, which is easier to do when you have it closer to you. So anyways, it goes back in there, and then it screws back on, and it'll stay unclogged forever. Okay, there's my Brave. Let me dry that real quickly. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Is there any questions over there? I'm not seeing a whole lot of action. Is there any questions? And Terry, maybe we can remind folks about my giveaway. Oh, yes, please, Joe. Let me put so, you on camera. If you want, although I'm, I look a mess. Oh, see what a mess he is, everybody? Go. So, so I'm on camera. Wow, how exciting is this? <laughs> so I'm gonna do. Uh, you last night, my business page on Facebook, Create and Craft, had 2,948 likes, and I said, "Wow, only 52 to get to 3,000. Maybe if I'm in a good mood, we hit 3,000. I'll do a giveaway." Well, that worked, and we broke the 3,000 mark this morning, and we're still growing. So what I've decided to do is I'm gonna do a giveaway at noon Eastern time tomorrow. I'm just gonna go through all 3,000 of those likes randomly pick one. I might pick another one or two. I haven't decided yet, but I know we'll pick at least one, and I'm going to send that person a goodie package. So if you want to be sure that you are entered in the chance to get a goodie package, please go ahead and like Create and Craft. I put a link over in the comments, but it's facebook.com slash create, that's C-R-E-A-T-E, then the letter N like Nancy, then craft, Create and Craft. As long as you are liking that page, by noon Eastern time tomorrow, you'll have a chance to win something cool. And actually, I've got a whole pile of stuff that I've decided I'm going to use as giveaways throughout the year. So stay connected, follow us, like us, be in it by noon tomorrow, and share it with your friends. Feel, share the crafty love, don't you think, Terry? <laughs> yes, I think they should share the crafty love. Share the well, crafty love. There's my simple page. Isn't that just simple? but yet really elegant. Look, I really love the, the circles and the depth that you get with the pen around it. I just, I just really happy with that page. 
Now think about this guys on this on a canvas would be just gorgeous. Wouldn't this be a beautiful canvas? So think about it. This could have been now it wouldn't have taken a half hour because the canvas is larger, but you could do this on a canvas in no time. I'm going to switch cameras. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, thank you very much for joining me. There's my page again. I think you burned my eyes. It's like looking at the sun. Oh. I know. I'm sorry. I screwed up big time. I usually move that first. Um, and please join my group on Facebook called All Things Terry Sproul because that's where we um, communicate and get to know each other better and a great place to ask questions. Um, also, if you love these paints and you would like to be on a design team, uh, go to Color Art's um, website, colorart.com, and that is spelled color, C-O-L-O-U-R-A-R-T-E.com, and go to the blog, and you can um, see the design team call, but it is go um, done this weekend, so you need to get your application in really good. Um, <laughs> Your hair is always doing the wave thing. You should see him in the morning, guys. <laughs> so, woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! <laughs> um, I think it looks fancy. Oh, it looks fancy, Joe. You look fancy. God, I don't know if fancy's the look I was going for. You know, believe it or not, I, I put for Butch, Lumberjack, Stud Dog. Muffin. <laughs> Butch, Lumberjack, Stud Muffin, Hunk. Hunka hunka love, hubba hubba. I mean, That's okay. I, I, fancy was not my thing, I don't think. You called me cute, okay? You're never going to live that one down, just so you know. But you wouldn't look at me and say fancy, would you? Well, you wouldn't even say, you had to say cute. <laughs> cute, cute, women cute. should like cute. No, 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 we don't like cute. Oh my God, hurry up women, weigh in on the common area. What do you think about cute? How many of you want to be thought of as cute? We don't like cute. Pretty will work. Cute, no. Like pretty works. Pretty's on the good side. Cute is a little kid. Little kids are cute. <laughs> well, right I can't. You, I mean, you were wearing your plaid Harry Potter schoolgirl outfit. I couldn't help it. No, I wasn't. I thought that's I was what you were going dress. for. <laughs> well, okay, I'm guys, we're gonna let you go. That. Because this is all being recorded. <laughs> Let this go. I want to thank everybody for showing up here tonight and see you again next Tuesday. Thanks, everybody. Bye.